11 Inch to Weather Plus forecast with meteorologist Ava Marie. Well, it's actually turning out to be a pleasant day, although the clouds are increasing. The sky kind of looks milky at this point, but temperatures are still warming. We're in the 40s right now across much of the city, 46 downtown, 45 at the airport, only at 40 in Bel Air and Westminster lagging behind at 37. So the northern portions of the metro, Carroll County, Baltimore County, even Harvard County, you're probably only going to reach the low 40s at best today. But downtown, Anne Arundel County, mid 40s for your afternoon high. Clouds and sunshine today, lighter winds, but even that light breeze. At about 10 miles per hour is adding a chill. Temperatures will uh, round out in the mid 40s around the metro uh, for the next couple of hours, falling back to 41 by 5 p.m. And then we're in the 30s the rest of this evening, eventually getting closer to freezing overnight. And that is key to our forecast tomorrow for when the precipitation is going to start. But we're dry tonight as we become cloudy. Temperatures close to 29 in those northern suburbs, more like 35 in downtown Baltimore. We are watching as the rain comes our way, but out ahead of it, there has been a light wintry mix uh, moving across of Cincinnati, now pushing into West Virginia. That's kind of the key to this forecast that before all the rain gets here, there could be some light icing happening across Maryland. Doesn't seem like a huge concern for Baltimore, but anywhere north up towards Pennsylvania could be a bigger deal. So, our forecast for tomorrow a little bit of ice possible at 7 a.m., as the temperatures are in the low 40s, but at that point, you still have a small chance of actually getting precipitation. The chances increase by lunchtime with rain, a high. 30 or temperatures near 35 by 5 p.m. We're climbing into the upper 30s as the winds increase, and we definitely see a better chance for that rain. So, future cast will show how the precipitation first happens in western Maryland very early tomorrow morning, but at that point, there could be a few patches of ice even around Baltimore. As the morning goes on, more of that ice developing, especially north in Pennsylvania, also on the roads leading up towards Pittsburgh. So, if you plan to travel to the Ravens game, leave extra time. A wintry mess could really slow you down, especially in the mountains. As the day goes on, we warm up, so we'll see more rain showers. In fact, there could be a few breaks at times. We're hoping this data turns out correct because at 8 p.m., as the Ravens start to kick off, there may be a break in the rain around Pittsburgh. But more of those showers come in towards the end of the game, lasting into Saturday night, going to Sunday as well. So patches of rain on your Sunday. Then we clear things out late into the day. Colder air starts to filter in next week. That's a huge change you'll notice in our seven day forecast. 45 today, 39 tomorrow with the rain, possibly beginning with some ice. We're moving all the way into the mid 50s on Sunday. Again, we'll have a few breaks in the rain. Next week, maybe some snow showers by Tuesday, but the big story the change in the temperatures. Windy and 40 on Monday, but barely not even getting above freezing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the nights in the teens and the 20s.